okay so welcome here to another tutorial so today we'll be solving a question uh, in physics under simple harmonic motion we see how we can apply the topic we see how we can apply the topic and just how to solve these questions so they are saying a 0 0.25 kg block attached to a light spring oscillates on a frictionless horizontal table the oscillation amplitude is 0 0.125 meters and the block moves at 0 0.3 meters per second as it passes through equilibrium at x is equal to zero okay so let's just establish the data so we have okay let me just let me just get rid of this So of course we have been given data. They are saying that we have the mass of 0 0.250 kg. Then we have been told that the oscillation amplitude is simply 0. 1,2,5 meters then we have been taught that this block moves at a velocity of 3.0 meters per second as it passes at the equilibrium point when x is equal to 0 0.0, .0 meters now that saying we find the spring constant Okay, we find the spring constant. Now, remember that in the first tutorial I taught you that the velocity has got a relationship with the spring constant in that this same velocity is equivalent to the square root of k over m then the oscillation amplitude minus x like that. Now, want to find the spring constant k so i'm going to introduce a power 2 here then we we'll, we'll do the same thing even here then of course this and that are going to cancel then we're going to remain with v is equal to sorry so this is going to cancel we're going to remain with k over m then of course since our x is zero we just remain with a but the a is going to have a power two so this is just the same as okay, so this is okay so if we cross multiply we're going to have v to the power two m equal to k a to the power two then from here, we are going to divide all over by uh, 8 to the power 2, even here by 8 to the power 2. Going to cancel this and that, and finally our spring constant is going to equal to V to the power 2, M over A to the power 2. Okay, so this is just the same as K is equal to velocity which is 3 to the power 2 then of course our mass is given to be 0 0.250 over amplitude is simply 0 0.125 squared ok let's just calculate everything so we have 3 power 2 multiplied by 0 0.25 so we're getting something like 2 0.25 over then of course we have this is um, 
this is just 0 0.125 power 2 we are getting something like 0 0.0156 Okay, so now if we divide everything, okay, so let's try to divide everything. So we're going to say 2.25, 2.25, divide by 0 0.01. Five six two five, and of course we are going to get one forty four point zero newton per meter. So this is the answer for part A. B that said we calculate. Okay, this is A. B is then we calculate the energy, the total energy. Total energy, remember, is given by 1 over 2 ka squared. So, what is our spring constant? It is 144. And our oscillation amplitude is simply 0 0.125 the power 2 okay so let's try to calculate that so we have square of 1.25 and of course we're getting 0 0.015625 multiplied by 144 Okay, so we're getting something like 2, we're getting 2.25 over 2, so divide by 2, divide by 2, we are getting 1, we're getting one point one two five this is going to be in joes so that's the answer for the f the, the the second part okay let me just try to wrap this we'll get to part c But C is asking us to calculate the block's speed. The speed of the block. Let me just try to wrap my board. Okay. Now for the for the for part C, C is very simple. Because for part C, the only thing that you have to note is that velocity is given by the root of k over m, right? Then we have a minus x. Now in this case, we have been given that x is equal to a minus, sorry, a divided by 2. Meaning our x is simply, what is the oscillation amplitude? it is 0 0.125 so we are going to get that oscillation amplitude and divide it by 2 what do we get so this is 0 0.125 divided by 2 we are going to get 0 0.0625 meters so if we get here, we want to find the velocity. What is our spring constant? It is 144. What is the mass? 
the mass has already been given to be 0 0.25 of course the oscillation amplitude is 0 0.125 minus 0 0.0625 okay so velocity of course is equal to notice that first of all I have to work out what is in this square root then work out what is in brackets which whichever so 144 divided by 0 0.25 we are getting the square root of square root of 5 7 6 multiplied by 0 0.125 minus 0 0.0625 okay okay so let me just do this so what is the square root of so of uh, 576 so root of 5 576 is simply 24 so I'm going to put our 24 here then of course we do our calculations here so we have 0 point 0 point um, 1 5 of course we have 1 5 like that minus 0 point 0 6 Zero six two. We are going to get zero point zero six three like that. So if we do our calculations, we say let me just do my calculations first. So we have twenty four multiplied by zero point zero six three and the final answer will just be one point five two meters per second so this is our final answer and this is just how you go about solving this particular question thank you so much